recording. Sweet. Uh, so this is a cyclist's bicycle crank. They send it to us and we fit this on. This is Avio's power sense. Power sense is a power meter. It tells the cyclist how much power they're generating. And in order to determine how much force they're applying, we need to teach power sense that. So we pop a CR2032 battery, tap to wake. And then we're going to put on our dummy pedal and then attach it to our floating bike. A cyclist can do this themselves on a bike uh, with the app. So instead of using our clever jig here, they'll just use their push bike, download the app and work it that way. So we're gonna open our app. We're gonna press scan for devices. Uh, this is why we need the, the Bluetooth capability because we're gonna be able to connect to PowerSense over Bluetooth. Um, we've got a few sensors in here at the moment um, with no battery in them. So this is gonna take a bit of a, a moment to detect PowerSense. should pop up on the bottom with a little strength bar. The strength bar corresponds to the signal strength side, the RSSI of the device. We're gonna select that. A user check is to ensure you're connected to the right one. If you've got a load of bikes, you can just move the crank around and you'll see on there, we're gonna get some angle changes on the graph. Uh, so at this state, we're gonna teach PowerSense what no load is and then what a specific load is in this case, 10 kilos. So we're gonna tap zero offset. Then we're gonna wait an obligatory 15 seconds here, sending command to device. At this stage, we're just saving all the values that corresponds to nothing, no load. Once that's happened, we're gonna move around to the application phase. So we're gonna move around to nine o'clock or the cyclist is just gonna pedal their bicycle backwards slightly. They're gonna hang on their 10 kilos. If they haven't got one of these from our ProFitting kit, they're gonna have a filled water bag. They're then gonna select 10 kilos. Again, wait in obligatory uh, 15 seconds. The force at this stage is gonna be recorded, as you can see, average 99. 98.1 Newton meters is the force uh, through the crank uh, due to the effect that gravity has on 10 kilos mass, you get 98 Newtons. And so that's essentially what we're teaching there. There are some other functionality in these app things like Ant Plus ID. Ant Plus is another communication platform operating over 2.4 gigahertz, but not too dissimilar from Bluetooth. Um, the DFU capability is uh, you can select to put PowerSense in a mode where uh, we can update its firmware. We can disconnect, we can factory reset, which wipes the device. Um, we can rename the Bluetooth name of this. For example, you could call it uh, my good bike. And then if you have another one, you call it my winter bike. Um, and then the dynamics is a way of being able to scale up and down your reading, depending if you've got big left, right imbalances, because this is a left only crank. We take the power from this and times it by two. Um, all of this, as you can see, is done over Bluetooth and then pulling on that, you'll see you're given that force reading. It's now reading this force reading because we used the Bluetooth capability to, uh, to calibrate.